Okay, I wasn't going to do this. I got to make this video show this effect. I have a capacitor on this one. This is, there's, there's difference, but there's not really. If you're paying attention now. I made a mistake. I'm showing you my mistake. Okay, I'm going to pause this. See, 6934. It's climbing. Well, it's in the 69 range, let's say, right? Okay, we're back. We're on this one now. It's out. We'll call that one. We'll call this two, and this one's three. Okay? Now watch. My connection could be a little loose. I can tell you right now. There you go. 70. My connection is a little loose. So it's this, this capacitor really... Between the diode really does a magic trick. Now hold on, let me show you the last one. The last one was only like 22 or 23 volts. Okay, I have to be very honest here. Festo Gomez did show this on his layout. And he had double capacitors. He had the little blue ones here. Okay? So, let me make that very clear and let me show this. Okay, let's kick this sucker on. I knew this, this one was a little loose before. So it'll jump. I move the wires around. Oh. I think it's trying to auto arrange myself, but the coil I'm talking about. And both that, that neon's fully lit. That's AC, dude. Both sides that are lit up. Uh, Festo Gomez, thanks, brother. And this was the effect that he was talking about. And the amperage didn't change. It's like a milliamp, okay? I have another rod there. I made several different ones because I'm trying to wrap my head around what would be the most uh, durable and best circuit to use. So, okay. They got it all figured out pretty good, I'll be honest with you. Uh, that's it. Like, subscribe, share. Thanks, Festo. What if I do this? Thank you. It's basically the same circuit, just doing it a different way. Thanks a lot, guys. M-Tech, thank you. Have a great night.